Yo berarti ya uh, setelah diteliti oleh bule ini ternyata bahasa Malaysia dan Indonesia itu adalah bahasa ah uh, Wow terungkap guys setelah bule ini mengadakan penelitian sendiri antara bahasa Indonesia dan bahasa Malaysia Wow ternyata faktanya seperti ini guys ya disebutkan juga oleh uh, poliglot yang ada di Indonesia dan juga Malaysia Wow keren 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 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jumpa lagi dengan saya guys, Cak Mujib. Gimana kabar teman-teman? Semoga semoga sehat selalu dalam lindungan Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Dijauhkan dari segala mara bahaya, malapetaka, bencana dan balak serta berbagai macam penyakit. Amin amin ya rabbal alamin. Alright guys, kali ini kita akan reaksi sebuah video yang sangat-sangat menarik dan akan menambah wawasan dan pengetahuan kita tentang bahasa Indonesia dan juga bahasa Malaysia. Karena kenapa? Ya banyak persamaan ya tentang bahasa ini antara istilahnya kita ketika bercakap bahasa Malaysia ataupun bercakap bahasa Indonesia itu hampir ada banyak kesamaan-kesamaannya. Tapi mungkin ada beberapa yang berbeda ya guys ya berbeda daripada segi maknanya. Tapi kita akan belajar di sini. Apakah iya, apakah betul bahwasannya Indonesia dan Malaysia itu adalah uh, bahasa yang digunakan adalah bahasa yang sama Nah ini daripada Polyglot Dreams guys Jadi seorang bule ini meneliti antara bahasa Indonesia dan bahasa Malaysia itu ada kesamaan gak? Nah biar tidak salah informasi, tidak salah tangkap Mari kita tengok bersama, mari kita tonton sampai selesai dari awal sampai akhir video ini Supaya kita mendapatkan pengetahuan, mendapatkan ilmu dan mendapatkan pengajaran daripada video ini Nah tanpa berlama-lama jom kita simak videonya guys Let's go Have you ever wondered just how similar Malaysian and Indonesian really are? Today we're embarking on a linguistic adventure okay. to unravel the fascinating connections between these two languages. In this video, we will explore their shared roots and unique characteristics. Through example sentences, we will observe how these languages handle the lack of tense and navigate okay. verbal affixes, revealing both their striking similarities and differences. Historical background. In Malaysia, Malay is the official language and is spoken by around 33 million people. In Singapore, it's also one of the official languages and is spoken approximately by 700,000 people or 13% of the Singaporean population. Additionally, in Brunei, Malay serves as official language and is spoken by roughly 440,000 people. As for Indonesian, there are over 800 languages spoken in Indonesia, uh -huh. according to the 2010 census. Other sources consider several of these to be dialects of the same language and show the number of unique languages being closer to 700. By all estimates, Indonesia is one of the most linguistically diverse countries in the world. Thus, the existence of Bahasa Indonesia, which literally means Indonesian language, serves as a unifying force for the country. It is estimated that 85 to 90 percent of the okay. country's population of 275 million speaks Indonesian. It is yep. the official language in education, government, and media. But when it comes to how many Indonesians speak Bahasa Indonesia as their first language, the answer would be only less than a quarter of the population speak it as their primary language. It's quite hard to give an exact percentage of language usage in Indonesia, since it is a vast country and language usage yeah. can vary greatly from region to region. In okay. some areas, Local languages are widely yeah, spoken, while yeah, yeah. in other areas, they may be used primarily in the home. Shall we see basic? Standard Indonesia and Malay share a common linguistic basis, often referred to as the pluricentric Malay language. They stem from the same root language and have a high degree of mutual intelligibility, especially in the written form. Indeed, lexical similarity is as high as 80%. However, oh, they have involved independently in their respective regions 
and have developed some differences in pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar over time. Malay tends to have more English and Arabic loan words, while Indonesian uses more Dutch and Sanskrit words, plus words from surrounding well, languages that, such as that, yeah, Javanese and Arab. Balinese. So while they are considered varieties of the same language continuum, they are recognized as separate languages due to these differences. This viewpoint acknowledges their shared linguistic heritage while also acknowledging their distinct linguistic identities okay. as used in their respective countries. Before we delve into the details, let's kick things off with a glimpse of some examples of the same sentences in both languages on the Ling app. Sakit. Dia pergi jumpa doktor sebab dia sakit. Okay, sama sakit. Lah. Dia periksa ke doktor karena sakit. Luar negara. Saya tak pernah pergi luar negara. Luar negeri. Saya belum pernah ke luar negeri. Plan. Kita Rencana. belum plan Rencana. lagi nak pergi ke mana. Merencanakan. Kami belum merencanakan akan pergi ke mana. Okay, let's get into the analysis. I will highlight the words that differ between the two languages using red font. Okay. Malay and Indonesian do not have verbal inflections to express tense. Instead, they use context markers and aspect markers. Context markers are elements in a sentence that give us clues about the timing of an action based on surrounding information. For example, certain words or phrases in a sentence might hint at whether the action is happening now, happened in the past, or will happen in the future ah, okay, okay, okay. without changing the form of the verb. For example, Subri went to Rosana's party last night. Uh -huh. Malay, Subri pergi ke party Rosana minggu lepas. Okay. Indonesian, Subri pergi ke pese Rosana minggu, minggu lalu. lalu. Next, for Rosiana worked in the post office. Now she works at the university. Tomorrow she will look for uh -huh. another job at a bank. Malay, dulu Rosiana Berkeja di Perjabat Pos. Sekarang dia berkeja di University. Esok dia cara kerja lain di bank. Indonesian. Dulu Rus diana berkeja di kantor pos. Sekarang dia berkeja di Universitas. Besok dia mencari perkejaan lain di bank. Perkejaan also exists in Malay, but it sounds more formal than just using kerja. Now let's uh -huh. look at aspect markers. Aspect markers, on the other hand, focus on the nature of an action rather than when it occurs. They tell us whether an action is completed, ongoing, habitual, or occurring just once. This is different from tense, which is primarily about timing. Aspect markers provide a unique perspective on actions, emphasizing how they unfold over time rather than just pinpointing them on a timeline. Okay. Complete and incomplete. Sudah indicates completion, Sudah. commonly shortened to dah in Malaysian and udah in Indonesian. Yeah. Examples, Tina had already returned when I arrived. Malay, Tina sudah balik bila saya sampai. Indonesian, Tina sudah kembali ketika saya sampai. Malay can yeah, also use like kembali and ketika. And kembali. Indonesian ah. can use balik and bila. It is just a matter of what is more common and sounds more natural? Okay. Pernah indicates the experience of having done something. Examples. Has Joan ever gone to Bali? Okay. Yes, she went there on vacation last year. Huh? Malay. Joan perna pergi ke Bali? Ya, dia makan angin di sana tahun lepas. Indonesian. Joan perna pergi ke Bali? Yeah, dia belibor di sana tahun lalu. Uh -huh. Note that the Malay makan angin literally means bercuti, to eat wind. Ya. Uh, bercuti atau berlibu, ber, berlibu eh. Tak bercuti ya. Belum in the case that particular Belum. situations are not yet completed. Mariam hasn't returned from Brunei yet. Malay, Mariam masih belum balik dari Brunei. Indonesian, Mariam masih belum kembali dari Brunei. Masih here equals yet, but it can be also used to say still doing something. Uh -huh. Hendak in Malay is Hendak. often shortened to uh. nak. The word exists in Indonesian, but it is found in older 
more formal texts. Ingen formal. is a common alternative in both languages. For example, I would like to go to Malaysia, Indonesia next year. Malay, saya nak pergi ke Malaysia tahun depan. Indonesia, saya mau pergi ke Indonesia tahun uh -huh. depan. There are quite a few other aspect markers to learn about, but for now you have an idea how they function. Let's take a look at affixes. Affixes play a fundamental role in both Malay and Indonesian languages, shaping the meaning and structure of words. These linguistic elements, whether prefixes or suffixes, offer a versatile toolkit for speakers to convey nuances of action, state, direction, and more. The prefixes, including ber, di, ke, mang, pe, per, uh -huh. se, and ter, provide insights. Jadi di sini kita bisa tengok ya guys, malai bercakap, berbicara, to speak ya. Dimakan, dimakan, bahagia, kebahagiaan, bahagia, kebahagiaan, mengajar, mengajar, penulis, penulis, pergi, pergi, sesudah, sesudah. Again, lepas tu terbang, terbang. Nah, to the nature of actions, passivity, uh -huh. completion, and direction. On the other hand, suffixes such as an, kan, uh -huh. i, lah, kah, and ya uh -huh. serve to uh -huh. transform words into nouns or convey emphasis, interrogative tone, and possession. Uh -huh. Understanding these affixes not only enriches language comprehension, okay. but also unveils the intricate layers of meaning embedded within Malay and Indonesian linguistic structures. Mung functions primarily to indicate that the oh. subject of the sentence is the agent or actor carrying out the action. It creates verbs that describe an action. For okay. example, Mengajar means to teach. Menggambel means to take. And mengerti means to understand. Alternative forms, depending on the spelling of the root verb, are mem, men, meni, and me. For example, Ahmed accompanied Mariam home. Malay, Ahmed menghantar Mariam pulang ke rumah. Indonesian, Ahmed menggantar Mariam pulang ke rumah. Ber functions to indicate the subject of the utterance is the experiencer of the action. For example, while menggajar means to teach, belajar means to study. The yeah. root verb is ajar, and bel is an alternative form of ber. Next example, Devi Dewi speaks several languages. Malay, Devi bolak bercapak beberapa bahasa. Indonesian, Dewi bisa berbicara beberapa bahasa. The idea is that she experiences Bicara. speaking several languages. Note ah, that in Malay, yeah. the word bole is used to express both may Maybe and can, can without a strict differentiation between permission and ability. On the other hand, in Indonesian, bole primarily conveys permission or allowance, okay. while bisa is commonly used to express ability or capability. Uh -huh. By the way, bisa can mean poison in both languages. Berbicara in Malay means to give testimony okay. or to speak in court. Bercakap in Indonesia means to chat or to converse. Okay. So you see the similar meanings, but the words are used differently. D indicates passive voice. For example, the car is being washed. Malay, kereta itu sedang dibasu. Indonesian, mobil itu sedang dicuci. K with suffix an turns a verb or an adjective into a noun. Bahagia, happy. K bahagian, happiness. For example, there is no happiness without sadness. Malay, tidak terdapat kebahagiaan tanpa Kesedihan. Indonesian, tidak ada kebahagiaan tanpa kesedihan. Terdapat can also be used in Indonesian. Indonesia. Say indicates a completed action or one-time occurrence and creates the words before, sebelum, from belum meaning yet, and after, sesudah, from sudah meaning already. For example, he completed his work before the deadline. Malay, dia menyiapkan tugasnya sebelum tarikh akhir. Indonesian, dia menyelesaikan tugasnya sebelum tanggal akhir. I trust these examples have provided insight into the grammar of these two languages, as well as a chance to see 
how similar the vocabulary is. Uh -huh. I would like to share with you the opinions of a Malaysian polyglot, Juan Amarul, considering the status of Malay and Indonesian as independent languages or dialects of the same language, as well as their mutual intelligibility. Hi, my name is Juan. Uh, I'm from Kedah, which is a state in North Malaysia, but I'm working in Kerala right now. So I speak Malay, English, Arabic, and uh, Russian. Do you consider Indonesian a dialect of Malay or a separate language? I would say, and probably my fellow Malaysians would disagree with me, that Malay and Indonesian are two separate languages. Two mm -hmm. And the reason being is simple. Okay. It's because uh, in Indonesia, there are few local regional Malay dialects that are independent of the standardized Indonesian language. Is there a case where somebody speaking standard Malay and mm -hmm. somebody speaking standard Indonesian don't understand each other? A Malaysian were to go to Jakarta, for example, and they start talking in standard Malay to uh, Indonesians. I think there is some misunderstanding. But, yeah. but 80 to 90 percent. 80 to 90 percent, more or less. And to bring another perspective to the topic, let's listen to my friend Alexander, who is an Indonesian polyglot. Even even though okay. being raised in South Africa, he has never been far away from his roots. Please listen as he shares a lot of insights about the two languages as he encounters them often at work. I find that hard to grasp that speaker of standard Indonesia couldn't understand standard really, Malay. Yeah. It really depends on the ethnical background and again, the preconception that you have against Malay as a Malaysian Malay. If you are from Sumatra, if you are from Borneo, where you are exposed to different oh, Malay yeah, dialects yeah, but, uh, and you know, your first language probably is related to Malay, then understanding Malaysian Malay should not be a problem. But if you are from Java, as in the majority of Indonesia's population or from the island that goes even eastward, Bali, Nusa Tenggara, Sulawesi, uh -huh. it, it definitely will be harder. Because Regarding the, differences, the, the... in some cases, I think it has been exaggerated, but I do agree that it can lead to some very severe confusion. At the moment I'm currently working as an analyst for an investment company. I deal with both Indonesian and Malaysian documents. I must express, I was very surprised because in Malaysian standard Malay, the amount of Arabic words, loan words that, is used, uh, that are used is much significantly higher compared to the one that I see in uh, standard Indonesian. When it comes to legal terms, I would say they, di they diverge quite significantly. In a lot of cases, people thought, well, yeah, okay, but uh, Indonesian and standard Malay like if it's formal, like you don't uh -huh. use colloquialism, it should be easy. But actually, no. In certain field, science and legal terms, you really need to get used to the different vocabularies. Even to the grammar is pretty much like the same. The difference in vocabularies could actually be quite considerable in those situations. It is evident that standard Malay and standard Indonesian share remarkable similarities. Their yeah. mutual intelligibility remains high, facilitating communication between speakers of both languages. However, it is essential to acknowledge the diversity of non-standard dialects, which may okay. introduce variations that affect yeah, mutual yeah, understanding yeah, to yeah, some yeah, extent. Yeah. Regarding the ease of learning Malay and Indonesian, some people argue that both languages are relatively easy to learn. While it's true that beginners can quickly acquire vocabulary and express okay. simple concepts without delving deeply into grammar, expressing more complex ideas, and correctly utilizing affixes presents significant challenges. Thus, while the initial stages of learning may seem uncomplicated, achieving yeah. fluency and proficiency in both languages requires dedicated study and practice. These languages offer access to vibrant cultures, literature, and connections throughout Southeast Asia. So approach the learning process with enthusiasm and perseverance. With each step forward, you will uncover new perspectives and opportunities enriching your life and broadening your horizons. If you are curious how some people can learn many languages, if there are any secret methods, check out the video in which I shared about how I learned 30 languages wow. over a span of 48 years. And for more insights and hacks for learning Chinese, Vietnamese, Thai, Lao, Malay, and Indonesian, please take a look at this one. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video. Alright guys, that's all the video nya dan itulah tadi ya guys ya. Are Malaysian and Indonesian the same language? 
Jadi bisa dikatakan kalau basicnya dasarnya itu sama katanya tadi. Tapi ketika ada istilahnya penggunaan-penggunaan bahasa karena di Indonesia itu kalau kita ke Sumatera, kalau kita ke Riau dan lain sebagainya tempat-tempat istilahnya yang mana di situ ada suku Melayu, maka di situ kita akan paham. Tapi ketika kita ke Jawa, terus ke Nusa Tenggara, terus Sulawesi dan lain sebagainya itu pasti akan berbeda sekali dan susah untuk menggunakannya, apalagi ke Papua gitu ya kan. Nah, karena di Indonesia itu memang beragam banyak keunikan bahasa dan tidak semuanya akan paham ya bahasa Melayu seperti itu tapi otomatis kalau kita bisa berbahasa Indonesia sedikit banyak-banyak yang sudah bisa bercakap bahasa Indonesia nah itu dulu videonya guys gimana bro teman-teman sekalian nih ya ah, ini terungkap fakta setelah ada penelitian seperti ini tapi mungkin banyak fakta-fakta yang belum kita ketahui tentang bahasa Indonesia ataupun bahasa Malaysia ini nah silahkan komen di bawah tambahkan apa pengetahuan teman-teman sekalian soal bahasa Indonesia dan juga bahasa Malaysia. Terima kasih sudah tengok video ini sampai selesai. Apabila ada salah kata mohon dimaafkan. Saya pamit undur diri. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.